Hi, it's David. Today I'd like to talk about uh, getting unstuck. We often get stuck in our lives, uh, and it's not a good place to be. It's not It's not great. We like, always like to move, but sometimes you sort of get stuck on something. You sort of feel like you've stopped. I'll let you know a secret. I, I get stuck quite often. But uh, the key is I can also get unstuck fairly, fairly quickly. And I just want to go through two main reasons to help you um, remain as much as you can unstuck rather than stuck. The first one, the most important, is having a game plan. And what I mean by a game plan is um, it, it can be as simple as um, having a goal or a set of goals uh, or, or at least a roadmap for your life, where you want to go in the next five years, ten years, twenty years, etc. Um, some time ago I developed a, a roadmap or a game plan for myself where I sort of map out where I want to be at certain stages of my life. And um, I find this very useful, a very useful tool because, as I said, when I get stuck, um, you know, I get caught up in sort of a whole myriad of thoughts, we all do, I can refer back to my game plan and um, it can give me a, a guide, or it does give me a guide on where I should be and what my next step is, being, uh, is to be. And that's very important. You always got to know what your next step is because, uh, simply put, uh, when you're spinning your wheels or treading water, it's no fun. Uh, you, you've really got to you know, keep those steps stepping, so to speak, and just keep yourself moving. What, one very important point uh, before we go on is that if you feel yourself really stuck and just simply don't know what to do, just just do anything. Just do anything to break break uh, break the rot. Um, go out and do a bit of gardening or take the dog for a walk or anything. There's anything that sort of stimulates your senses and stimulates your mind in, in, in a different way. Uh, because um, just sitting there and, uh, and um, musing over it is really nothing. You'll end up stagnating. You'll drive yourself crazy, to be quite honest. So just step out, get some fresh air, get the, get the mind clear, and uh, then come back to it. The other second point I really wanted to talk about today was having an attitude of confidence. When, when you're stuck and you're not too sure what to do, that, that attitude of confidence can bring you back to bring you back to earth, bring you back to reality. And really developing an attitude of confidence comes from knowing your game plan, which is the first point I raised. Know, knowing your game plan virtually inside out, knowing that it's tried, tested, and you can trust it, will develop your attitude uh, and will develop your confidence. Uh, you always know that you, you can use it as a fallback when you do get stuck, because you will, you will get stuck. But you can use that as a fallback, review where you're at, and get yourself moving again. That's really, really important. Uh, I'd like to uh, do another video a little bit down the track, uh, which will give you a few more tips on getting unstuck. I just wanted to sort of stick with those two today. Um, give them some thought. And until next time, be good to yourselves.